All right, so here we are with the result uh, within Photoshop. And now the reason I'm back in Photoshop, is I would kind of want to um, talk about plans moving forward, uh, things that I want to do to this. And um, I may not do all of these things on camera or uh, in the lecture videos. I may do some of them uh, in between recording just so I don't have to record so many more uh, videos. Um, and I, I just want to talk about those changes that I want to make and, and sort of where my head's at and where I want to go moving forward here. <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm thinking is that I like the orange that we have here in the trees. I like the orange here. And so we kind of have like this diagonal of warm, warm colors coming through, right? Um, and I think I can I can do that even more by sort of doing some leaves, some of these uh, brownish leaves uh, going through, um, going up into the corner here. So like these are obviously autumn trees. So like some of their leaves may be falling off and the rest here is kind of tropical plants. But um, I think it'd be cool if we just have some of these leaves floating around in the water. So um so I think me sort of get a bigger brush here. <clears throat> so I think that might look cool if I um, if I do that. And just have these little dots of leaves kind of floating up over here into the distance and maybe one or two over around here. So I kind of like that. I think that might be a really cool look. And uh, let's, let's try a blending mode here to see if we can get it to kind of fade out with I think probably multiply, no, screen, probably screen with a little bit of opacity. So yeah, I think something like that with um, some leaves kind of floating off into the distance might look really cool. Um, and then we could also do um, the other thing I was thinking of maybe doing a bit of a light uh, on the dock right here. So we did a little bit of a maybe just two little lights right there. Um, and then one like really cool trick that I like to do to uh, make a glow in Photoshop is to add in sort of just like a soft, let me make this a bit more orange to match like the color of our windows up here. <clears throat> and do something like hard light. So then I think that would um, continue to like reflect off of the water, like over here maybe. And that would just give us like this diagonal line of, um, of warm colors or orange that would kind of, you know, let our eye flow across the, the scene in this way. So I kind of like that idea you know, surrounded by cool colors. And we have this splash of warm uh, red shingles up here. And so I think that's a cool concept. So that would help us sort of like track our eye across the uh, the entire, entire piece um, there. So that's one thing that I want to do. Um, and again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this on camera or off camera. Um, the other thing that... Um, I think would be really cool is to do some lily pads around the island. Um, and I don't really like how flat the uh, sort of the lake bed or river bed is here. It's a very flat color. So I do want to try to um, try to create something that will sort of roughen up this area a little bit so it's not just so flat everywhere 
And I think I have an idea how to do that with just some some very simple geometry rather than using a bunch of rocks like we did up here. Um, but yeah, I think, I think just doing something like that to kind of roughen up this area so it's not so flat would, uh, would kind of go a long way. Right. So it's not, we don't, we have like this really nice subtlety all over the place and, um, or I, I would call this high frequency detail. So we have a ton of like high frequency detail here. So a lot of like little tiny details. So I think, um, I don't know, just that large flat uh, color area, it doesn't look quite right. Um, so I want to try to figure out something to do. And I think I have an idea for that, uh, just using simple planes or so very simple geometry and sort of distributing it with mass, just like we've done everything else so far. Um, so I, I want to deal with that. Um, this right here, the sort of grass is on top of the rock. Not sure I really like that too much. So I either need to move this patch of grass like over here like in between the two rocks or move the rock. I think I'll probably just move the patch of grass if I can. Um, this tile has been bugging me. I left it there just to see if it would kind of grow on me. It has not. So I definitely want to get rid of that, delete that. And then finally, I want to do, um, I want to make some lily pads just sort of floating, floating throughout around the island of uh, different sizes. Again, to give it a little bit more um, nuance and have some nice uh, breakup of objects and kind of maybe start to fill in some of the, the areas over here where it's not quite, or it's just kind of blank. And it's not necessary to fill in every corner like we can have some blank corners and I think I might actually get rid of these but again it's something that um, that I'll just have to kind of experiment with as I go <clears throat> so and then um, so I like that quite a bit maybe some maybe some lily pads up here around here as well And then finally, I'll probably do it off camera, but I think I might model a little boat and uh, either put a boat right here on the edge of the dock. I think I might do that. <clears throat> and then I could probably even add another little light or uh, a paddle or something right there going into the water. So I just kind of wanted to talk about the the final sort of stages for this, uh, this scene that I want to work on. And I think having a lot of these little dots sort of surrounded surrounding the outside just looks kind of cool. You know, if we zoom way out, we get an idea of what this would actually look like when we get these nice warm colors kind of flowing all the way through diagonally and um, some really cool lily pads and so on. And I think if we if we make these changes, um, make these additions and make these changes, uh, we will be pretty much done with this project. Um, you can definitely push this further if you wanted to. Uh, you could definitely add sort of ripples and things. So anything can be pushed uh, a bit further. Um, but I think we're sort of uh, getting close to the completion of this project. And I just wanted to take a moment to uh, to talk about where my head's at and sort of like the final stages 
or final changes that I want to make to our scene. 